Uh, the only player who's out still is Adam Eder, obviously, who was out for the season. And Andrew Amabamadeli has had, um, you know, not great news. He's still struggling with his back. So he's going to be out for, you know, the, the near future at the moment. So we're just waiting for an update on how long that will actually be. Yeah, we'd like all hands on deck. I mean, what a good news is we've got Tim Krull, uh, who's back in training, putting himself in, in contention. Um, so that's good news to have somebody so experienced as him coming back. Um, but yes, we'd like everybody, but, you know, it's football. Everybody has injuries. Yeah, I think uh, even more so after the performance at Liverpool, I thought it was a really good performance. Um, you know, you've got to go there, play well, and also have a little bit of luck. Um, you know, we didn't quite get that luck. Um, they create big chances against everybody, as we saw last night against Leeds. So, um, you know, it was a positive performance for us. And, and it was nice to have the, the likes of Matthias Norman back, um, you know, a quality player such as him. will certainly give everybody a lift. Well, I'm hopeful and, you know, that was what I always said when, when we won our back-to-back -back games against, um, against Everton and then Watford. Uh, there's, there's big games coming up to play at Carrow Road. Um, we've got a lot of teams uh, who are in and around us, so to speak. So it'll be nice. We, we know that we have to win games to draw other teams in. Um, you know, Burnley have done that in the last couple of games and you've seen what's happened. So we're not concentrating really on other results. We're just concentrating on ourselves and hopefully claw some of, the other, let some of them other teams in. Yeah, I mean, our form, we feel is OK. Um, you know, we've just had back-to-back -back games against Man City and, and Liverpool. Um, I was more pleased with the, the Liverpool performance than the Man City. Um, you know, obviously, the quality told in the end with the, uh, the quality of the goals, but we feel that we could have done better as well with the goals. Um, and I, I said after the games, no disrespect to any other teams. Uh, I don't think, you know, that they're similar to Liverpool and Man City and nobody else will. Southampton's a real tough game, um, you know, always a tough game whenever you play them. As you say, on a really good run of form, recently held Man City at home, um, you know, and, and playing some really good football. I had a really good win against Everton last week as well. So, um, you know, really respectful of, of what Ralph has done at, at, at the club. And, and um, you know, it was my first game um, at Southampton, so I'm sure they'll be wanting to turn the tables on the result. Yeah, I think so. I think adaptation is always a, a big word for, you know, new players coming into the country, a different country. Um, you know, he played really well in my first couple of games, to be honest, against uh, Southampton and Wolves. And then unfortunately got injured. So he had four to five weeks out and he's just had a consistent run in the team and his, his performances are getting better and better. And with consistency comes confidence and he looks a confident player at the moment. Yeah, really impressed because they've, they've sold some really good players as well they've um you know they've had some they've had periods where they've been quite i think they were top of the premier league at one stage and then went through a, a terrible run of results and i think the class of the coaches when they can turn them results around and um and then performances around and they've never lost belief in the, in the way they play and their identity and you know it's always been good to see um to be honest that wasn't what caused the goal we felt we felt there were some defensive issues with the goals where our positioning could have been better for all three of them um so on review that was what we looked back at um you know sometimes if you we left a couple of gaps in our in our back four and it allowed their players to run into the gaps if you don't leave gaps then there's nowhere for them to run um on the whole i thought defensively we were good um as a team uh i thought you know, on the counter attack, we we were exceptional. Um, you know, I think we we had something like 28, 29 entries into the final third, and you know, over half of them ended up in their penalty box as well, which is really good. You know, uh, considering the the quality of the opposition. No, not really, because we've also got you know the FA Cup fifth round at Liverpool as well in amongst it. So you know, there's four really big games for us. Um, you know, and. Um, we're looking forward to them. You know, they're the challenges that we want, where we feel that we're, we're in a position where our performance levels have, have, have improved, our, our learning has, impro has improved, and now we have to go and put it into practice in the last dozen or so games and, um, you know, get the required points to keep us up. Yeah, we're just working on him to improve. His, his confidence has obviously been, been, been hit by not playing as much and uh, not being involved as much. So we're trying to get in the game time so we can improve his, his uh, produ productivity and his, his confidence. And, um, you know, that's a, um, 
that's both ways that we're working with him and talking to him and he understands it. And I feel for the lad because there's, it's not his fault that we go and buy a player for a certain amount of money, um, you know, but they have to live, live with that tag. And I just wanted to get back to, you know, not worrying about that and just enjoying his football.